Assalamu alaikum and good morning all of you. This is Dr. Muhammad Ali and today we will be discussing about the molecular pharmacology of the GABA A receptor and that's not enough. We will be discussing about the mechanism of action and key points about benzodiazepines and barbiturates. So let's get right into it. GABA A receptor chloride ion channel is basically a macromolecular complex. It is a hetero-oligomeric glycoprotein having a pentameric structure, meaning having five or more membrane spanning seminars. As you can see on the slide, this pentameric structure of GABA A receptor have two alpha, two beta, and one gamma subunit. And on the B figure, you can see that is from the top of the receptor, GABA A receptor that this chloride ion channel is in the core. This chloride ion channel is basically formed by the protrusion of amino acids. Now this GABA A receptor has attachment sites for the endogenous GABA. GABA is basically an inhibitory neurotransmitter in the central nervous system. Gamma amino butyric acid. Its attachment or binding sites is basically at, lies at the interface between the alpha and beta subunits. And if we talk about the benzodiazepines binding, binding sites, it lies at the interface between the alpha and gamma subunit. More specifically, at the interface between the alpha 2 and the gamma 1 subunit. This slide is explaining that what happens when the endogenous GABA in a between neurotransmitter binds to its receptor that is GABA A receptor alone or in the presence of benzodiazepines. So in figure A, we can see that the receptor is still empty. So the chloride ion channel is closed and there is no conductance going on. In B, we can see that uh, GABA, endogenous GABA has now binds to its uh, receptor. Binding of GABA to its receptor opens chloride ion channel, which leads to hyperpolarization making it more difficult to depolarize and thereby reduces neuron excitability, neuronal firing, and keeps it away from action potential, next action potential. Now C is uh, showing that what happens when the benzodiazepines binds to its receptor, that is GABA A receptor, in the presence of endogenous GABA. Here I want to make everyone clear over here that benzodiazepines have zero efficacy the absence of endogenous GABA. They have no effect in the absence of endogenous GABA. They require the presence of endogenous GABA to produce their effects. They basically enhances the effects of endogenous GABA or we can say potentiates the effects, enhance, augments the effects or facilitates GABA transmission. All of the terms are correct. So by potentiating GABA responses, they increase the frequency of chloride ion channel opening, thereby causes hyperpolarization and decreases or reduces neuronal excitability. Now let's continue with the mechanism of action of benzodiazepines and barbiturates. We just talked that benzodiazepines increases the frequency of chloride ion channel opening, meaning Benzodiazepines increases the number of chloride ion channels on the neuronal membranes. These agents are not GABA mimetic agents. They just potentiate the effects of GABA. In contrast, barbiturates, another, you know, sedative hypnotic uh, group of agents, after binding to their specific subunit on the GABA A receptor, chloride ion channel macromolecular complex, in most of the cases, it is the beta subunit, increases the duration of opening of chloride ion channel. These agents are GABA mimetic agents, and at higher doses, they can by themselves open chloride ion, ions, ion channels uh, without the presence of uh, endogenous GABA. Barbiturates can also have inhibitory influences on the glutaminergic neurotransmission and um, to 
inhibits the glutaminergic transmission by binding to AMPAR receptors on the post-junction membranes. Benzodiazepines are positive allosteric modulators of GABA A receptor. Allosteric sites are all receptor sites where GABA itself does not bind. All right. So other sites other than GABA binding sites. Allosteric modulators can be positive or negative. As you can see over there, this is uh, the site between uh, at the interface of alpha and beta subnet is the binding site for the uh, endogenous GABA. Uh, the interface uh, between the alpha and GABA subnet is the binding site for the benzodiazepines and barbiturates uh, binds on the beta subnet of the GABA A macromolecular receptor complex. So in, in brief or in nutshell, benzodiazepines increases the frequency of the right ion channel opening and they potentiate the effects of GABA and requires the presence of endogenous GABA, whereas barbiturates are GABA mimetic agents. Uh, they do not require the presence of endogenous GABA at higher doses especially and they increase the duration of the right ion channel opening, causes hyperpolarization and decreases So with that, I want to thank you all for watching my video, subscribe to my channel, like it and comment it and keep watching my videos. Thank you so much.